Now, what is up, my fellow prod coders? And welcome to yet another video on how to build a server to server communication with JSON Web Tokens, uh, specifically with JSON Web Signature and the HMAC Digital Signature. So, in the last video, we already um, started building out this authentication middleware. And we noticed that we will need some logic to verify and decode the token. And this is exactly what we're going to do right now. So if we go to this package here that we previously installed, this uh, JSON Web Token package, and then we see that there is a method called uh, verify. Yeah, and that's the one uh, we will use. So basically what we need to do is uh, given a token, uh, we need to check if this token is valid or not. So let's go to our code and let's import um, the package. Uh, so we can say require JSON Web Token. Okay, and if we go to the documentation, then you can see it basically boils down to just one call, and that is this um, jwt.verify uh, call. And uh, there is a couple of options. So for one, I'm just going to copy this. And um, this is like how we de how we verify a token, like with the token itself, with a secret. And we can also pass um, some options. Uh, let's see whether they have an example. Yeah, here, you see, you have the token, um, you have like whatever your secret and then some options. And these options allow you to set some constraints. So for example, if in the algorithms, uh, this is like an array where you can say which types of digital signatures you accept. And we are going to only accept this HS256, which is HMAC and SHA-256. Um, but this is oftentimes abbreviated as HS256. Um, yeah, and that's what we're going to do. So let's go to our code. And um, I'm just going to make a function and I will call it verify token. And I'm just going to paste um, this thing in here. And instead of this variable, I'm just going to return this. And oh, I see we probably need the config. So I will require the config. Um, where are we? one up no one up and then config okay so we probably need um oops we probably need config.token right we need config.token secret yeah exactly so we need config.token secret and i would also like to um put in some options so you kind of see what we can use. So the only option we're going to put in there, as I said before, is that we are only allowing um, only allow uh, HS256, which is HMAC with SHA-256. Right. So this is also um, the algorithm that you really have to implement according to the uh, JSON Web Token spec. So if you look at the RFC document, they say you need to support uh, HMAC with SHA-256. And what we are just going to do is we're going to say we only allow this algorithm. And if you send us any token that was created with any other algorithm, then we are not going to allow it, right? Because there's also other options. Um, I think there's something else. Um, let's see, HS-256. I think there's, yeah, HS-384, like that's also one. So this also uses um, HMAC, but like a different hashing algorithm. And even though that uh, token might be valid, if it's not created with this um, SHA-256 um, hashing function, we're just going to reject it. There's no particular reason for that. Um, technically, we could accept it, but let's just go with that for the moment. Good. Um, yeah, one more thing we need to do. We need to pass in our verify options, right? Okay, and if we have an error, then we will uh, console log the error. Now in production, as I already said, uh, don't console log because it's uh, synchronous and that's very bad because you only have the main thread. And um, 
there you might run into performance problems. Uh, it's like if you do, if you log a little bit of text, you don't, but say you accidentally log some file content or something, then things can go really, really wrong. Okay, and what we need to export is this verified token endpoint. Okay, um, so now we have this verification thing running. It looks quite okay. Um, yeah, so I would say we can go back to our middleware. And in our middleware, we can actually import the service and um, call it, right? So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to say token service uh, equals require service and then token. And then under point two, I will just say uh, const decoded token equals token service dot, whoops, token service dot verify token and I'm going to give the token. Yeah, name the token. Good, and now we have two outcomes. So for one, it could be that we get an error while decoding it, and then we will get null. And in this case, we have to block the request and uh, send like an unauthorized status, because even though we did have some token or like something in this header, uh, apparently it was not valid. So I'm just going to return invalid token, okay? Um, please note that I just do here return so that we exit from the method. And uh, then I think the only thing we have to do is we can attach this token, like the decoded um, token, to our request. So sometimes the token contains some useful information like uh, roles, for example, if you're like an admin or whether you have some read-write access. And then it might make sense to just attach it to the request. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to call next. Okay, and then let's save this. And I think with this we should be pretty good. Um, the only thing that is now left, I would say, is um, right now we have this uh, server, but we don't have any routes for it. And uh, we need to make use of this authentication function. But let's just do this in the next video. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Um, also, I created an email list. So if you want to have a say in what we build next, you can just go to the video description down below and sign up. Uh, yeah, please leave me a comment. Yeah, you can also reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Production Coder. And uh, yeah, I think that's it pretty much. Um, again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.